I'm glad to be here on another video. Scramble here from Emotions Crypto Trading. Welcome, guys. Today, we're gonna take you about Ethereum as usually and talk about the most important things of the space. It seems like for the past seven days, we started to have a delayed form of price action compared to the BTC. If you look at the price action, we have a 2% increase for the Ethereum compared to 7.84 on the BTC side. It seems like Cardano is doing better, Ripple is doing better, Dogecoin, and then Solana. At a top 10, we're looking at the altcoins, and I can only see BNB very close to Ethereum's price section for the past 7 days. So that's obviously not putting too much enthusiasm around the things, yet this is how a market looks like, which is breathing and having a good time. They do have different timings of movements. When we had Ethereum moving, I can assure you that the other cryptocurrencies of the top 10 were not doing that kind of a great job like Ethereum did. So there is nothing to be worried about at the end of the day, yet we were able to cross the $1 trillion market cap for the whole space. This is one thing to not to worry about, but to keep in consideration that the level of the current market of crypto during the bear market is already amongst trillions. Even if it goes back to 700 billion or 800 billion, we're talking about a future bull run cycle that crosses $5 trillion, mathematically proven based off the previous movements. So mathematically proven based on the previous movements means that the data portrays it like that. Talking about other things such as the news for the Ethereum world, there's a whole lot of the things around the price as usually. There's, you know, discussion correlated with the price. The media enjoys telling you that the market is bullish or bearish based how the price action is going. Now, when I say price action, I don't want to mean that technically how the data of the price moves, but most likely what is the price of the token? And based on that, it tells you if it's bullish or not, which is false. You need to stay away from such thing. If you see the price increasing, it do not mean that it's bullish from that point ongoingly. It means that it was bullish till that point for sure. But then from that point ongoingly is a question mark, which can be encrypted based on the data of the market, not based on the price itself, which is a number. So the number itself that we have went from 1000 to 1600 cannot tell me that we're going to 2000. But this question can be responded in a different way by looking at the data of the technicals, which can tell me if there's still buying pressure on the board, if they're still dominating to what kind of points and how the whole picture looks like. So if you look at the news during this situation along the way with the bull market or bear market, media only correlates the information towards the price but not in a data way, but most likely in a very, very superficial form, which is not helping you guys to consider a proper analysis. There is Ethereum Shanghai mainnet. Uh, this shadow fork goes live from what we have been able to see in the past 17 hours. And there is not many things going around blockchain of Ethereum these days, other than what we can see around the new sector. By the way, for those of you which are interested in coaching and learning how to trade directly with me on a one-on-one -on -one coaching or I'll take you by hand between four to six weeks during an intensive private coaching teach you how to trade. This is live directly with me, just like I said. But I'll take you from A to Z during the whole process that I'm doing daily. I've been trading since 2014 and there is my website describing how the whole picture works scramblecoaching.com this is describing it you want to find out more information you need to register now if you don't want to trade but you think that trading is nice and why not having a such opportunity well we have trading through api where we perform the trading for you there is no upfront fees it's just a pure commission out of the pure profits achieved very simple we have the trading report on the ref side of the page and then on the right side, we have the way it functions. This is all on our page, scramblecoaching.com slash today. Both links 
can be discovered in the description area or in comments area of this video. Make sure you do not click on other links, you do not uh, contact me on Telegram or any other things that do not exist, right? So make sure only official things from the description and comments area that I write. Very simple, because there's a whole lot of the scamming going around and you can get very, very easily tricked around a corner. Ethereum, guys, daily technicals. One day candles sing information. This is where we are. Uh, I wanted to share with you a very interesting set of information that I'm correlating right now with a specific set of information, my technicals, but there's many other lines that we used to get around intermediate or advanced levels. However, in today's video, I'm strictly correlating our discussion to a few set of lines that will help us to determine the current situation of the market. So right now, it's very important to understand that we have heavy buying pressure that has been fueled by major external sources of the market. I like to zoom in a little more and have it like that. So what did I just said? Major external sources of the market. We had a whole lot of the buying coming around from the exchanges and wells. So we had serious purchases going around this candlesticks that are all sitting in green on the daily. Now that cannot happen in a market structure, in a market situation where you don't have participation of the whales or of the very, very strong buyers that are having a speculation time around the corner. So this is already at a heavy level of participation, guys, when you get to see that, which is a great sign if you're asking me because it shows that there is life in this market and there is volume in this market towards bullishness as well. It's not that it's all dead because of the FTX. No, things are going to recover. FTX is going to be left behind. Things will get recovered and people will make tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions again hundreds of millions, tens of millions, and the list continues. Just like with the FTX issues we had in the past, 2016, 17, 18, name it. Every single year we had issues and problems in the market. Like that. We had it. All sorts of situations such as hacks, accounts disappearing, all this, all that. You know, this is not a first time. This kind of things will still exist. The idea is that you need to be assuming, preparing, and having your defensive approach towards the way you handle the exchanges side. Uh, so that's a good sign, basically. And I'd like to tell you that when the bull market starts, which is not really the case right now, you, we're not in a bull market at all, but when the bull market starts, this is just a bear market rally. Now, when the bull market starts, usually in order to get to a such phase, we need a capitulation. The capitulation basically needs to at least retest the ultimate bottom that we have. The ultimate bottom is here from 18 of June 2022. We did not retest it. There is a wick here, right? We want to fill that wick up. So this is a level that we, we're going to have the time of filling it up as well. Probably, probably going even lower than that. We need to see the information at the right time in the way the candles are portrayed, but for the moment, we're facing difficulties at this level. So you can expect around 1,800 or around 1,700, lots of resistance. There is a major trending line, this one. This major trending line has been holding the market structure extremely well, and at the time we have lost it, the bear market has been confirmed. The bear market has been confirmed by losing the support, just like it has been confirmed with the tops that have been created. It's quite interesting because in trading, a lot of the people say you have a higher high, like here, you're good to go. You're good to go, but you have missed the movement like this, right? We have missed that. We have entered in a strong selling pressure on a daily, and then we have lost the support line as well. So this higher high that we did was useless. Simply said, was useless. Getting back to the current situation, this major trending line is actually having to discuss with us at 1,700 right there, which is going to put a lot of the selling pressure wrong with the major structure resistance line. The blue rectangle is going to act quite powerful as well. And after so many days upwards, the way the markets will 
come back will be pretty similar, which is why I'm paying high attention, folks. You need to be very careful because in the way we go up, just like that we come down during such market conditions. 2023, if you don't have Fed's decreasing the rates, if you don't have the worldwide economy sitting comfortable in a very productive with a cheap credit and the traditional markets going up, you don't have cryptos going up. So you don't have the other ones, the traditional market. You have S&P 500. You need the US dollar going down. You need the S&P 500 going up. You need the Nasdaq going up. Obviously, we have seen some great signs at the S&P 500, but at the same time, the US dollar came down and it wants to go back up. So if the US dollar goes up, it goes against the crypto. So it will increase basically, and the cryptos will suffer. Therefore, the US dollar right now, 24th of January, is sitting around a zone of support. Meanwhile, the cryptos is sitting around a zone of resistance. You gotta be careful with what I just said, right? So this is very important. Uh, you know, heavy support trending line downwards right here. You want to go below that and you enter in the capitulation phase. Now, it's not necessarily to do that, but you've got this upcoming months. It's all about accumulating, all about accumulating and having a good time of speculating these days. But then you think about accumulation, guys, because at this level, any little top that's being made for the Ethereum can be the ultimate for the current structure. Any little top, right? So we're, we're like this. Any any little top just like this will be to trap a whole lot of the longs, which are still believing that trading based on a breakout is functioning after so much increase. It's not. There is a deviation going around here, which means that we have a strong distribution. They are allow people to jump on board with the longs, and then they will knock them out, especially if that's leverage out. If you're getting a 5x leverage here, you're going to be not out with a liquidation. So um, this is basically the way it looks like right now. Now, there is obviously the possibility, which is very small, to push towards the, uh, you know, this little top around 2000. That's a really strong psychological level. You can push to that and then grab all the guys here that will jump on board. If we get above 1800, you can't even imagine how many people will buy into the long. So I also see a sense for the exchanges and market makers of doing so. So the whole thing here is really dangerous and I would actually uh, slowly, ex uh, you know, just decrease my exposure into lungs, which is something that I do on spot. I do on about five exchanges. I do in multiple accounts and then gain exposure on shorts. Why is it dangerous going short too early? or too high during such times, because this is a bear market probably, which can stop at 40%, 80%, 120% from the bottom, which is something that I do not enjoy hanging around because the predictability rate of short here or low to say exactly where this liquidity game is going to stop. That's the thing, there is market situations that are just based off liquidity gains. And that's, in other words, low quality of data. I don't like that because it made me lose a whole lot of the money during my, you know, about nine years of trading crypto. They traded other things before that. So the picture needs to look different. If I trade shorts, I'm very small sized during these times. But not today, obviously a little later on. Uh, if the market decides to come down from here, I'm not having shorts opened. So that's it, right? Now, if the market decides to go higher, I'll have shorts open that I'm going to be able to hold for months. The idea is that I'm going to go very low in amounts because this thing right here looks pretty bad in order to portray in a advantageous situation. Now, you know, bear market rallies, look at that. Bear market rally 42%. <laughs> it's dangerous because of the liquidity game, guys. I would be careful with these things, really careful. That's it for today, 24th of January.
You must have a good time. I must have a good time. The whole year of 2023 is a year of education, preparation, building quantity of tokens and prepare for what's about to come. 2024, 2025. We're expecting basically the Fed right to decrease. We're expecting the economy to move stronger. So that's it, folks, once again. Uh, scramblecoaching.com if you're interested in education and if you value the, to, to the ability to earn resources. If you value basically this, I'm looking forward to it. Please subscribe to the channel, like and having a good time.